Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about working with projects. Working with your projects can range from starting and saving projects, to sharing projects with other users, to managing various project tasks. Let's take a look. First, open the desktop app, sign into your subscription, and we'll see how to start, open, and save projects. To start a new project, choose one of the standardized project templates. While many of these projects are already set up with standardized tool and form templates, you can also create your own tools and forms as your project progresses. When you save your project file, it's automatically saved to the project repository, where it's available to you when you have an internet connection. Also, when you save a file, all forms and their data, tools, and documents in the file are saved at once inside the project. There's no need to save each one separately. If you want to open an existing project instead of starting a new project, you can choose a project from your recent projects list. Or you can browse to the project repository and open an existing project from there. If you don't see the project you're looking for, you can choose a different filter. You can manage project actions from inside the project. After you've saved your project to the project repository, choose File Share to access the options available to you for managing your project. When you share a project, you give other users different levels of access to the project. For example, you can limit their access to only opening the project and viewing its contents, or you can give them editing privileges so they can open, edit, and save the project. You can transfer ownership of the project to another user. If you still need to work on that project, the new owner will have to give you can view or can edit access. You can remove a user's privileges when they no longer need to access the project. When you perform any of these tasks, you can notify a user about the change by emailing a link to the project. You can include or exclude your project from the dashboard. Exclude means the data will not be summarized in the dashboard calculations and will not appear in the dashboard reports. You can also choose to include or exclude a project using the checkbox in the Save Project As dialog box. If you're using Workflow, your projects are automatically included in the dashboard. When you choose File Open, you can upload earlier versions of projects to the project repository from here. You can upload one or more individual projects or folders containing projects. Uploading a folder creates the entire folder structure. You can also complete many of the tasks we just covered in the project repository. Clicking Dashboard takes you to the sign-in screen through the Dashboard and Project Repository. In the Project Repository, click the Project to see the options available to you for managing your project. You can share a project, email a link to the project, and include or exclude the project from the dashboard. This symbol indicates that the project and its data will be included in the dashboard calculations. In addition to the options we've discussed, you can also move or delete projects. Projects and folders that you delete are moved to the trash. You can access the trash from the drop-down here. Then, you can choose to restore the files or folders, or permanently delete them. Whether you're starting, sharing, or removing projects, it's easy to work with your projects in all your initiatives. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.